Some people have asked uh, how it is that I have maintained some high notes, um, even though I don't necessarily, you know, use my lead piece every day or, um, you know, practice, you know, high notes every single day, uh, um, actually on the trumpet. And I'll show you guys exactly what it is I do, but it's basically a combination of free buzzing and something uh, my uh, trumpet teacher, uh, Will Strider, used to call Dallas buzzing. Um, and actually, this is something that you could do even without even a trumpet present. You will have to have a mouthpiece for this. But uh, Dallas buzzing and free buzzing are just a little bit different, okay? Free buzzing is just free buzzing without anything, okay? Just with the lips. And then the um, uh, Dallas buzzing is using the assistance a very slight assistance of the uh, mouthpiece. So I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put on um, drone here, okay? And I'll start with some higher free buzzing. I start on a G and I go, I just do some Chickawits, so. Okay. And instead of going down chromatically, just like you were supposed to with uh, Chickawood Studies, I'm just going to stay on G right now and just kind of do the first of each one of these. The next one I'm going to do is Dallas buzzing. Dallas buzzing is where you just barely actually touch the mouthpiece on the face as you basically free buzz. So it's free buzzing with slight assistance, okay? And it's like this. Okay, and I'll do the next one without. Next one that goes up to an E, I'll do this one with the Dallas buzz. Next one that goes to the F. Next one with the G. Okay. Usually I usually have a little bit of a uh, a small break in here. Uh, and I'm gonna go up to an A this time. Now that time the A didn't actually pop out, okay? So I might actually switch it up and use this, or, um, I'll uh, I'll try it again, but I'm gonna try it with this this time. Okay, and up to a C. The big thing is you want to make sure that you are not forcing it when you're doing this. Okay, you don't want to force the pressure on here. Okay, and you have to have this equilibrium balance between the air and and the buzz. Okay, there's not a lot of air that comes out when you're buzzing, so you probably shouldn't take up a, a huge amount of air when you do this. Okay, it's all about control of the aperture when it comes to this. So that's kind of just a little bit of what I do. All right. Uh, send me questions if, if you want to know some answers on some of this stuff. All right.